You won a lottery or something? With the bag, what happened to you? Won the where, where, where did you get the bag? <laughs> Checking out. That's pretty neat. Good morning, Tom. Hello. How was your last night sleep? Pretty good. As good as it'll get in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> After this, we're gonna be staying out. Capsules. Hotels. Capsules out. Capsules. See, see how that is. Yeah. So Tom's got a Japan Rail Pass that let you in on like all the, all that what? JR trains. All the JR trains for Not free. Not the subway. Yeah. So it was like 300 bucks, almost. Something you should get if you're traveling to places like Kyoto. So as little as $300, you can get a JR pass and you can get on the, all the JR trains, including the bullet trains. So it's pretty useful. You should get it. Yeah. Right now we're in Harajuku. To put your stuff, there's a place right here, I think. Yeah, put, yeah, right here, right next to the station. This way. Third floor. I need to. No, I think we're good. This is pretty deep. I'm gonna put my bike. Back. After doing some Tetris and uh, getting some change, we finally got to put our stuff in the locker. <laughs> Tetris. <laughs> so much Tetris work. Yeah, so we have to use like a vending machine. And Tom's got three drinks <laughs> for uh, two of us. So this is Meiji Jingu and this is like one of the few big shrines in the city of Tokyo and it's actually gigantic. We're gonna explore that and show you. It's kind of cool because it's right next to Harajuku which where it's famous for you know like the fashion scene in Tokyo and it's right next to it there's like a big shrine like this. Kind of like cool the mix. Yeah think about traveling in Japan is you have to walk a lot of steps. I think each day we're probably like walking maybe 20,000 steps or more. Yeah and then sometimes you're carrying stuff it weighs more on you. So Tom, this is the Kiyomasa well right here. It's supposed to be like a power spot. If you take a picture and make it as your like a wallpaper on your cell phone, it's, it's supposed to give you good luck. And here it is. The water is so clean. Yeah? Nice, calm, quiet. 70 degrees, just right. Yeah, right now you, you're lucky because after a couple months it's gonna be raining hard for a little bit and after that it's gonna get super hot during the summertime. The summertime is not really a good time to come to Japan. April, it's nice. Yeah, April is perfect. You're lucky. It's not cold either. This is Thomas and we have, we have a lot of stories together. We spent a lot of time in college. We used to ride motorcycles to get, together. To go to places in San Francisco, right? Yeah. He's a he's a real businessman. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Successful. Yeah. 
I don't know about that. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't see the main building because it's under construction right now. So these are the symbol of happy life and happy marriage. Sacred trees since 1920. This shrine is the biggest shrine in Tokyo, Shinto Shrine. All right, Tom, let's get something to eat. Yeah? Purpose of this trip is to lose 20 pounds, right? That's right. Yeah. Walking around. Some things that's different about Japan is like, in Japan, it's believed that your blood type determines your personality. People have the strong belief of that. So if you're blood type B, you're selfish. If you're blood type A, you're organized. But like what I looked up- What does AB make you? If you're AB, then you're double-faced. And uh, if you're O, then you're like very rough. Like you're not very detailed. When I looked up on online, it said that scientifically it was, that was proven wrong in like early 19, like 1914s or something like that. But people here still believe that. You read the same thing? I read this similar, similar. It, even the you know the spot the way we went yeah that was like power spot it's called power spot in japan like a lot of people believe that you get the good luck from going to all these places and there are a bunch of power spots in japan basically power spots are like places where they get, that give you good luck it could be shrines or like a, any historical sites <laughs> For lunch, we're getting the ramen here. It's run. So, do you want one with egg or no egg? Yeah, I'm good. In here. Two. So, you fill the form out to arrange it to your likings. You look here. You can see which seats are open. They usually call you, so. When you look, this mark, that means it's open. But none of them are open here. Basically like a booth when you go inside, so you don't feel like uncomfortable eating by yourself in a restaurant, yeah? Okay. Interesting, oh. right? Yeah, right here. Done. Okay. Yeah, you just leave the sheet and the... Yeah, yeah, so you just grab the cup. It never used to be like this popular before. This is pretty interesting. If you don't want to talk to the employee, you can just write like what you want to tell the employee and then without leave the card in front of you and they'll just read it off the paper so you don't have to explain. Oh, the, you see the green button? That's like if you want to go to the bathroom, press that button. And for right, if you want to extra, like order extra toppings or something, you press right and then you can call, it rings when you press the button, yeah. the goods. Tom, let me show you. So, you take this and then you, you put it right here and it starts ringing. Hmm. Tom, you wouldn't believe how many hair salons are here. Like almost every block, there's one. And like uh, in Japan, like people are really worried about like how they appeal, appeal to other people. So they they go haircut every month, and they pay like 50 bucks for haircut. It's pretty expensive. 
in Harajuku, there are guys on Main Street, a bunch of guys on the side of the street, they're just uh, starting out to become a hairstylist and they look for uh, like uh, models. They'll cut your hair for free. But you know, there's so many hair salons, so many people want to get the job, so it's so competitive. So around this area is like uh, where all the clothing stores, apparel shops are. This is the best boba place. I think this is like Ta Taiwanese restaurant. They have like really good bubble tea. <laughs> Got the milk tea. I know a really good spot to drink this. Harajuku is famous for the crepes. Hmm. Yeah, so they're a bunch. So this is like the hidden spot here. This Starbucks has like a really nice seat. It's right here on the rooftop. This spot is supposed to be like only for Starbucks customers, Starbucks customers, but you can actually sit down and rest. It's like at the rooftop, so it's pretty cool. It's nice, right? It is nice. Refreshing. Yeah. Rooftop garden. Yeah. This is such a nice spot to sit down and rest for free. <laughs> Goodbye, nice uh, seating area. Thomas is getting his money exchange right out here. Rich guy Tom he just carries around thousands of bucks in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Not as rich as you, Siku. <laughs> Is that how much you keep in your wallet when you're in the US? No. <laughs> <laughs> More like 20 bucks, right? When you're in the U US. More like 2 bucks. 2 bucks. <laughs> so personally, I don't like Takeshita. I like this way, going that way. You can find more apparel shops, nice ones. How good is this place for shopping and how bad is it for your wallet? <laughs> <laughs> After two hours of shopping by this guy, <laughs> two hours, <laughs> we are able to we are able minutes. to go back to uh, walking around, exploring the area. He's all happy. You won a lottery or something? With the bag, what happened to you? Where did, where, did, where did you get the bag? <laughs> After $500 of spending shopping, who? <laughs> who? We're finally Where? going to the <laughs> hotel. The new battery. New battery. New battery. <laughs> the battery died. So we got a new one. <laughs> Full charge. Fully charged. On a new battery. Yep. A new one. New one. Yep. yep. New battery. <laughs> yeah. Got to the hotel. We got to the hotel, so we're cap staying at a capsule hotel today. Right, we're gonna shower and go to sleep. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye bye. Stop yelling. <laughs>